Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Uh, today we're going to be going over an armor, uh, which is a relatively low level armor and a relatively nice one for putting on mercenaries because it is an armor with lifesteal. Uh, let's go over it together and we'll talk about this uh, armor in regards to uh, what its usefulness is. So uh, the armor is called Bone Flesh. And uh, Bone Flesh has a very nice defense of 257. Um, it is, of course, a, um, a heavier armor plate, uh, the Templar coat, the plate mail. Um, it does have a little bit of a slowdown when you put it on. Um, it is 65 strength requirement, which is actually not bad at all for level 26. And at level 26, um, most characters can usually put this on without any problem at all. And most mercenaries as well. Uh, 35 to attack rating is very good for a melee character, around 26. It also has 5% lifesteal per hit, uh, which is definitely very, very nice for mercenaries and melee slash range characters alike. It also has 25% chance of open wounds, which is also, again, very, very nice for mercenaries and melee slash range characters alike. Open wounds is a chance to do a bleed damage that lasts for 8 seconds and the damage is based on your character's level. So it is very very specific to the level of your character. Um, it also has a nice enhanced defense bonus of 100 to 120 percent which is uh, which is pretty sweet. You can also find this in the ethereal form which has an even better defense of 385, a lower strength requirement of only 55 and the same level requirement of 26. Now, when you upgrade this bad boy, um, you can use a Shale Atal and a Perfect Diamond. And you can go from 257 defense, 65 strength, level 26, to 578 defense, 118 strength, level 31. Not a bad upgrade at all for Tier 1 to Tier 2. Uh, the Ethereal version also can be upgraded uh, the same way with a Shale Atal and a Perfect Diamond. And this one can go from a 385 defense, level, 50, uh, level 26, 55 strength, to 860 defense, 108 strength, level 31. A excellent plate of armor for a low-level mercenary, um, especially if you have you know, an Act 2, a Act 5 Merc, or an Act 1 Merc, which are all going to be utilizing that lifesteal and applying that open wounds damage. Uh, very, 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 very excellent armor. Now, this armor can be upgraded one more time to the uh, Elite version. And to do that, you're going to need a Lem Rune, a Co Rune, and a Perfect Diamond. Now, I don't necessarily recommend this because the strength requirement is going to go through the roof. And uh, the because the enhanced defense isn't high enough, it's not really going to be that great of an upgrade. But uh, let's do it anyway just for the, for the fun of it, and let's see what, ha what happens, shall we? So we're going to go from 578 defense Templar Coat, uh, 118 strength, uh, level 31, to a 1,141 defense Hellforge Plate with 196 strength requirement, pretty high, uh, 71 level requirement. And the Ethereal version has a pretty decent upgrade too, uh, 860 defense, 108 strength, level 31, to 1,493 defense, 186 strength, and level 71. Um, all in all, I don't really think Bone Flesh is worth upgrading to Tier 3, but it definitely is worth upgrading to Tier 2, especially if you're trying to keep your Mercenary alive um, going into Nightmare difficulty. Um, it also has a very interesting look to it as well, uh, because, of course, it is a Templar coat. I've always actually liked the way the Templar coats look. And it also has its own special color as well, because, of course, it is the Bone Flesh, so it kind of has like this off sort of goldish brown kind of color i'm not really quite sure how to how to put it it almost looks like gold but it's not quite gold like kind of looks like uh like leather that was like painted gold i guess would be a, a better example always love the sound effect <laughs> go on mr knees if you want to go in go in Uh, let's take a look and see where you could potentially find this if you wanted to find it. Um, I usually like to go over to Silos Pen, so let's head over there and let's take a look, shall we? Bink. So assuming, of course, that we are trying to find this on level, it was level 27, right? So let's assume about 100% magic find. Uh, let's assume bosses. 
and uh, we're going to assume normal difficulty. Uh, so it does look like Diablo in normal is your best bet at a 1 in 417. Uh, not bad at all. Uh, Bale is a decent chance as well at 100 and f 1, in 1, 1 in 448. And um, he's a little bit harder to farm, though, but if you were killing him for EXP anyway, there's a good chance he could potentially drop the item. Uh, look at Mr. Nini floating there. <laughs> floating. I see you floating. Don't think we don't see you floating, sir. Don't think we don't see you floating. Um, so who could potentially get good use out of this? Uh, I mean, that's a pretty good question, right? Who potentially could get very good use out of this bone flesh? Honestly, just about anybody. Uh, when you find a bone flesh early on, especially as a character who is... Um, you know, going to be using a mercenary or who is melee or ranged in any way, shape, or form. Having 5% lifesteal on your armor with attack rating and ch uh, a chance to open wounds is absolutely amazing. And uh, quite honestly, if you find this early on as a melee character, put it on. If you find it early on as a caster class, put it on your mercenary. Um, there's really no reason not to grab this as a low-level character and utilize it to its fullest extent. Later on, you're going to come across other items that are going to be better than a bone flesh. That's for sure. But at level 27, when you find this armor, um, you're going to be hard pressed to beat 5% lifesteal, 25% chance to open wounds with attack rating and the decent defense that this armor has for a mercenary. Um, you could also potentially socket it if you wanted to burn a socket and you could even put a uh, like a shale rune in it to increase the uh, faster hit recovery which would be the only real thing that it's lacking and uh, and bam just like that now we have 20% faster hit recovery for the mercenary as well or the melee character who's using it. The range character might not need the faster hit recovery so much and you could probably get away with something else maybe a 15% IAS jewel. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos. Um, even when we're upgrading a bone flesh to a Hellforge plate. And as always, keep watching.